What's up, Ithaca High School? Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Cora Easton, filling in for Quinn and Zuki. Let's get right into the news. The 39th annual craft fair will be Friday, December 15th. Many IHS clubs will be there with food, crafts, special activities, and additional baked goods. You can go during your lunch period or during your free periods. It is recommended that you bring money. Now we're turning it over to Mike and Zuki with a special sports segment. IHS, it's me, Zuki Wagner. And I'm Michael Gualtieri. This is the first episode for MN Sports. So let's get on to it. Kane is in the building. Yeah! Let's go. All right, already the show goes on all night. Till uh. the morning we dream so long. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever wonder when they will see the thunder? Just remember when you come up. Alrighty, so first off, what we're talking about is we're talking about the boys' Ithaca varsity hockey game against Skinny Atlas. It was a close game, even though Ithaca still lost 4-3, but they played well. First off, we see Ithaca here with the face-off against Skinny Atlas. Then we see that Skinny Atlas has some opportunities coming at goal. That's one that's wide of the goal right there. And we have another opportunity right here from Skinny Atlas to make it through, and they get a chance, but the Ithaca goalie saves it. And there's a face-off near Skinny Atlas' goal. Sam Roach puts it just wide of the goal. Then Michael Sornberger grabs the puck, brings it around, puts in the goal. That's a great goal for Michael Sornberger right there. Like, what do you think, Zuki, on that right there? Well, you know, Mike, when you see gameplay like that, Ithaca was struggling with their passing throughout the game. But the way Sam Roach puts it behind the goal and tucks it tight, Michael Sornberger, it's so easy for him to grab it and just tuck it in the back of the net. I think that, that's great. Uh, honestly, they did play. a great job right there. The end of the game ended, though, with the at the end of the second period, we had uh, Ithaca down only by one goal, and that goal was a great job for them to get motivated to possibly uh, come back. But in the third period, um, Ithaca was not able to come back. So yeah. the game ended 4-3 to three with Skinny Atlas. But nonetheless, um, the Ithaca boys varsity hockey team just played Clinton this past Tuesday, and they won 3-2 to two in overtime, which wow. is great. The boys right now are also with a record of 1-2. and two. Wow, that's so, great. Not, not the greatest start right now in the season, but at least they're getting wins on the board, and I think they're doing a great job so far. I think they can make a comeback. Absolutely. Well, right now let's go over to the IHS handball tournament that was this weekend. Teams came to face off for the championship, second one IHS has held so far. You know, Mike, they had two teams, the mm -hmm. two teams that made it to the championship, Fifty Shades of Chocolate and Purple Dragon. Mm -hmm. The Fifty Shades of Chocolate, they had a championship in their pocket from last year, and they had basketball. Mm -hmm. Most of them played together, and they were able to transfer that into the game. Mm -hmm. Purple Dragons, all lacrosse players, but their companionship and their knowing of each other really helped them throughout the game and got them to the championship. Mm -hmm. I had to interview uh, Luis Soto Marte, the captain of the Fifty Shades of Chocolate, and this is what he had to say about what would take him to the championship. Uh, we, we do defense first because can't win without defense, and then, then it's offense. Mike, what do you think about what he had to say? Um, I think that uh, point of defense, I think that's a great point. Uh, any team's best defense is their best offense at the same time. So if they can defend their goal, which will stop the other team from scoring goals, and they can start to score for themselves, I think that's a great way for them to get championships. And that's clearly how they did it in their past win. So I completely agree. And Julio Chosky, the <laughs> captain for the Purple Cobras, he had the same thing to say about what his team needed to do. He talked about defense and how they understand each other mm -hmm. in the game. This is what he had to say. Well, you know, I just think that we have to uh, we have to use each other. We have to play defense pretty fundamentally sound. You know, we all play lacrosse for the most part, so we're all pretty good on D. I think we got to work the ball and just find the open shots. Mike, anything to add on that? Um, I don't really. I mean, I guess when we talked about the um, 50 Shades of Chocolate, they have their connection through the um, basketball court, where um, the Purple Cobras, on the other hand, they you said that most of them are have or most of them are on the uh, lacrosse team. Yeah. So I think that not only the lacrosse team, but just them as being close friends to the young age is what's really great about that team. Completely. Well, guys, thank you for watching. It's been great. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was like, Wow! Thanks, guys. It's always great to hear about IHS sports. TV Production Club is looking for more on-screen female talent. If you are interested in joining, you can stop by room F41 after school on Mondays and Thursdays. That's all for this week, IHS. See you next time. You know, today, I just woke up. Perfect take.
All your faults are not mine. I didn't do anything wrong. It was the script. The production's looking for female talent. This includes being an anchor. Well, that's the only thing you can do.